alligator hunt. That's what we do on Giles Island in September. It's another off-season activity that uh, we really enjoy having now. The state of Mississippi has offered alligator hunting to the uh, public lands and private land owners for about four years, but we've only ran two seasons so far on Giles Island, and we've been fortunate enough to take five big gators, two 12-footers and three 13-footers. We have Rudy Warnock coming in. He hunted with us last year, and his daughter, Tori, killed a, a fine gator. It was 12 foot, eight inches. He's bringing her back. She's just gonna be a, an onlooker this time, along with his wife, Brooks. He's got two of his workers coming with him, Lon and Jimmy. So they're gonna be there. We don't know who's gonna shoot the gator. We'll make that decision when we get him up to the boat. Uh, we're looking forward to getting out here on these lakes and cruising and, and seeing what we can find. A year ago, uh, in September, we pulled up here about 11:15 at night. Put the boat in. The gator we ended up killing was uh, about 100 yards from here, right over there. We probably saw 30 or 40 gators, but the one that we ended up killing was right here that Tori killed uh, a year ago. Uh, we we started fighting it at about 11:30. Somewhere around 1 a.m., we pulled the gator up on the bank, and within about three minutes, Tori yeah. discharged the gator, and uh, the rest is history. We're going to talk about gator hunting, or we going hunting. Well, I'm just trying to do Jimmy Riley here. Impression. This is what we do in the off season on Giles Island. We don't never quit hunting over here. here. I thought it might be a candidate for, for a seven footer, but he's not. He looked like probably eight, nine foot. We had to pass him up. We're going to take two gators. In Mississippi, you get, you get a voucher for two gators. And of course, we got 30 vouchers, but uh, for this particular hunt here, we're going to take one gator between four and seven foot, and then we're going to take one over seven foot. Of course, Rudy wants it to be the state record, and that's asking a lot, but we're going to we're gonna pretty much window shop all three of our best lakes and then go back to where the biggest gator we saw was and try to get him. That's a bigger gator. See him cruising? Gator's pretty good size, ain't it? Big one way down, it's still, okay. See the metal pole sticking up? It's to the left of it, behind it. There might be two gators down here, look like 10 foot, but there's another one. You see the gators coming towards? Bigger than them down here, I don't know how big. Here he comes. It's coming, okay, it's getting up on top. Get ready, because this gator is fixing to come unglued. Stay on the water, get on the water, get on the water. Well, I've had a bath for the evening. Hey, hey I about went out the back of this boat. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to come back. No, he ain't. He's going to make another run. <laughs> What's happening right now is Corey's, Corey's trying to get another hook on him in case he comes loose. In case we lose this one hook, we'll have a second hook on him. Pull him up, son. Pull him up. We want to look at him again. There's, look at him. 
He didn't like his second hook. All right, walk yeah, back line. Walk back line. Walk back. He's going to go under you. All right, now we got to keep your lines from crossing up. He's running now, boys. He's running. Y'all notice the trolling motor is not going. That's the gator pulling this boat. Now he's going to pull. Hold him, Newt. He's headed for the barn. <laughs> All right, give me a snare. Snare. All right, Riley. All right. Want me to hold the rod? Yeah. Just drop it all over. Or oh, you're going to be the snare, man. He's going to take off and pull. Just don't let slack come in that line. You got enough. You got enough in you to hold on. Yeah. You sure? You huffing and puffing pretty good, babe. Just my back. <laughs> Just your back. Your back killing you, ain't it? Ah. He's getting stronger, ain't he? Huh? You need hey. some relief. Bye. Jimbo, just don't let any slack come that line. You're not fighting the tuna. Go on again, boy. Neil, get one of these lights out. Going again, boy. Oh, I broke off. Hold on, hold on. Don't give him no slack and don't pull on him. Okay. Keep broke. No, I need to move. I need to move. Let me hold it, hold. I'm gonna move out of your way for a minute. There we go. You got him now. There he is. Son, it ain't nothing like it. I'm telling you, I've, I've been fortunate enough to kill a bunch of big deer, and I get to see a bunch of them killed over here all the time. And that's exciting. Ain't nothing like it, deer hunting. But this right here, the only place you can get this is down here in the southeast United States. And we got some sad daddy alligators down here on Giles Island. What we're gonna do is get this gator up on the bank so we can measure it to make sure that that's the right gator that the uh, client wants. Once you dedicate to that alligator, that's gonna be your alligator. So what we're gonna do is find out just how big this alligator is. There's some discrepancies in the boat. We'll find out here in just a minute, so stay tuned.
wondering what that is. That is a temporary possession tag. We put it on the gator before we left the lake down there. That's the law. And uh, it's gonna stay on this gator until we get the federal CITES tag. And then that goes on. And that's gotta stay with this gator hide for eternity or you go to prison. about to do is put this gator in the walk-in cooler 40 degrees. It's very important because I mean it's, it's 85 degrees right now. To get this thing on ice or in a cooler, if you don't it will spoil overnight. It'll keep there till tomorrow. We're gonna pull him back out and get some pictures and somebody's got to do some skinning tomorrow. Yeah. This is a professional no. gator trapper right here. You know what comes along with that? Skinning, and that's this is the hardest thing I've ever seen to have to skin. So what do you think? That's the most amazing experience I think I've ever had. Beats deer hunting, don't it? Yeah, yeah. a lot yeah. more action. <laughs> <laughs> What did we learn today? Gamekeepers have a variety of interests, and yes, you can manage for alligators. It appears that our home state of Mississippi is doing a fine job. Be sure you look for our Gamekeepers magazine at tractor supply stores, Walmart, and Bass Pro Shops. And to learn more, you can visit us at GamekeepersClub.com.